Today was a 100 degree South Florida weather when I was hooking up, but we're doing camp a little different this time. It's gonna be a little challenging. You guys are gonna see what it, what it is. <laughs> Challenge for the weekend. We got six puppies, two dogs, two adults, and two kids, and a small 16 foot trailer. So, another weekend over here camping, and we're at the uh, Fort Myers beach. Uh, we're about to set up lunch, and uh, yeah, looks like the weather might be changing and shifting on us a little bit. Looks like a storm might be coming in, but we're gonna make some hamburgers, get back on the beach, get back on the water. And the dogs are liking the fact that they can be in the ocean over here, so it's definitely pretty cool. morning everybody so me and Zeus are on a walk woke up today at 5 in the morning trying to get the sunrise realized my phone was dead I couldn't fly my drone so it didn't work out it is a beautiful morning did wake up very nice last night the storm didn't really hit us the weather did get a little choppy got got some some wind a little bit of rain but nothing too crazy we're able to go out and get some ice cream at nighttime hoping that, that that storm didn't continue throughout the rest of the day as today as well but uh, it looks pretty good for the rest of the day. Today is a whopping like 100 and something degrees. This thing is hot. So when you come this summer, anytime to these places here it is super 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 hot so the good thing is as you guys can see the skies are pretty clear i don't not that many clouds in sight so hopefully the weather holds up not like yesterday we're setting up ourselves on the beach getting our chairs and stuff but as you can see luckily we're very close to the uh, actual beach so if you turn around that way give it a little sight that's the beach right there and then when you turn around this way here is the trailer so we're super close to the beach. The only bad thing about it is that the street's right behind us. You guys will hear some of that noise, but it dies down. But uh, let's get the rest of the chairs and get set up. Yesterday we had to take apart our chairs and run because the storm was coming. But one of the other things you want to keep in mind when you come into the beach around this time was June, July, is turtle nesting season. So you can, if you're on this beach site, you cannot have any lights on past nine o'clock. They could only be red or yellow. So there'd be absolutely no lights, not even the ones from inside your trailer. You gotta have tents, you gotta have either blinds on or something so they could, the lights doesn't come out. So you wanna keep that in mind. If you do come around this time of year and you wanna be up here, you can't have any lights on past nine o'clock. So it's a little bit challenging if you're trying to be out to cook past you know, a certain amount of time or whatever it may be. Primeramente, Hera estaba aterrorizada de entrar al agua, pero ya está mejor. Mira, le gusta el agua. ¿Verdad, mami? Mami, ¿te gusta el agua? Sí. Bueno, estamos en Red Coconut. Esto es un parque de trailers. Eh, se lo recomendamos. La playa es espectacular. Uh, se pueden traer quien tiene perros como nosotros. <laughs> Let's play, mami. Let's play, <laughs> Once again, the weather has completely shifted on us, as usual. Um, this weather is super unpredictable. We thought it was going to be a beautiful day. started off really nice, bright, sunny, and it's been thundering and cloudy like this. So what I did was I went to Publix, took advantage of the time, and I uh, got some goat milk for the babies because we need to start weaning them off right now. The right, I think it's be the right time probably to start giving them the goat milk and see how this goes. It's going to be a little bit of a... Of a Difficult process because we're in the trailer, so it's gonna be a pretty big mess in there. Uh, we also have been noticing that because they're very playful right now and they have like little baby teeth almost, so uh, they start nubbing at you, and it's yeah, it's probably why she doesn't want to give them any more milk. I'm sure she's they're not they're probably biting her boobies. So um, let's go back to the trailer. Um, I cook some food, let's give them the goat milk, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so we're gonna give the puppies the goat milk. And let's see how this goes. First time for us, but uh, we're trying to wean them off because 
Mama's not giving him too much milk anymore. So we get the goat milk. We're gonna give him a little bit just for a try. See how it goes. Hopefully they don't poop themselves too much. And, uh, and it works. Now we can start giving them some food. Let's pop some in here. It's the only one they had in the store. So and I see that they're not. She's not really feeding them too much. So I want to see how it goes. And at least they can start eating something in the meantime. Uh, let's put it here. I'm sure it's going to be probably a disaster. They're probably going to get. They're probably going to make a mess in here. <laughs> Alright, so far so good. So it looks like they have started to take it pretty good. I mean, they drank the entire bowl, but I only put like a little tiny amount. And then we put Mama in there and see if she gives them the rest. But uh, maybe we can start weaning them off. Let's head back to the beach now. weather luckily did clear up so it is a lot better as far as our us being able to enjoy it out here so we as you can see there's a lot of people that came out to the water with us and we're able to enjoy the last bit of the of this day before it uh you know light goes out completely we're just gonna hang out with the rest of the family now uh we're gonna cook some uh go ahead we're gonna start cooking getting some food ready but uh yeah let's see what the rest of the night brings That about wraps it up for us today, guys. We have enjoyed our trip. It was a great time. We threw everything in the trailer, so it's a disaster in there. It's full of dirt, full of sand, full of everything you can think of. Uh, but we'll make sure we get that cleaned up as soon as we get home. And uh, yeah, we had to run a quick errand, so we had to leave a little quicker than we thought. And uh, just, you know, just say what you always do, just chuck it in there, right? But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.